In this video, we're going to look at how to easily estimate growth rates using linear regression. So our goal here is to estimate the annual growth rate of U.S. female employment from 1948 through 2020. The data consists of 73 annual observations, seasonally adjusted, from January 1948 through January 2020. And the source here comes from the St. Louis Federal Reserve. To do this, we're going to estimate the regression, where the dependent variable is the natural log of employment. So the dependent or y variable is the natural log of employment. And our key independent variable is time. So the dependent variable, once again, is the natural log of employment. The independent variable is time. It'll take on a value of 1, 2, 3, all the way up through 73, where 1948 will be coded 1, 1949 will take on a value of 2, and so on. The coefficient here, b, gives us the continuous compounding growth rate per year. So it gives us the estimated continuous compounding growth rate per year. So let's look at the data here in Excel. Here is the employment level of women, 1,000, so in 1948, January 1948. The level of employment here was a little over 16.6 million and so on. So the first thing in the data just again expands down here all the way up to January 2020. So the first thing I do is I create a new variable called the natural log of employment. So I take the natural log of 16627 and I get back 9.718 and so on. So I take the natural log of each of these values here in the employment column. And then I create a time variable. The first observation here from 1948 takes on a value 1. 1949 takes on a value 2 all the way to our last observation, which is the 73rd observation measured in January 2020. And then I estimate a regression using the package in Excel. And here are the regression results. So the coefficient on time is 0 0.02236, and that gives us the estimate of the continuous compounding annual growth rate, so roughly 2.24%. So taking the results from Excel, here's our estimated regression. So to summarize, female employment grew at a continuous compounding rate of 2.24% per year. If we want to convert that rate into an annual compounding growth rate, we can do that by simply taking the exponential function and raising it to 0.0224 and then subtracting 1, and you'll get an annual compounding growth rate that is very close at 2.27% per year. Okay, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.